Darlings, I really suggest you grab a snack because this is going to be a long video, okay? Because today we're doing it. We're doing the best of the best of niche fragrances. This is going to be a crazy long list. And I'm sure you guys already figured because my designer list wasn't that long. <laughs> and, you know, last year, 2023, I discovered so many incredible scents. So many incredible scents have been released. And uh, actually, I'm mainly focusing on 2023 releases. So there's not going to be much that had been released prior to 2023, at least most of it. Um, unless I literally just discover the brand all that jazz but you know these are mainly 2023 releases so without any further ado let's jump right in and i'm gonna start with a couple of fragrances that um i do not have with me i haven't gotten a chance to purchase them yet um however i think they're definitely worth mentioning and you know what's funny uh, for some reason, all these amazing releases, the best ones that I have discovered, came in pairs from each brand. So most of these brands released two amazing fragrances pretty much at the same time. So yeah, uh, huh, it's going to be a long one. Promise you that. It's going to be a long one. So let's get into it and let's start with Amouage. And these are the scents that I do not have. Um... The reason is they're very expensive and for some reason I kept postponing it but I eventually have to get them I know because I cannot live without them and these are two of the newest collection and that is lineage and surprise surprise guidance uh, you know what at first I didn't love guidance but I it just grew on me it just grew on me I went through so many testers and decans and I can leave, finally attest that this is not a safe blind buy. However, if you fall in love, you keep craving it. And this is what happens to me. At first, I was so underwhelmed. I mean, it was just too much for me, you know? It was just too much. Uh, very complex fragrance, uh, very grown, very like grown up scent. But I love it. I love guidance and you know, I feel like there are two camps, people who absolutely love it, people who hate it. And uh, I started in the hate camp, but now I am in the love camp. So I will be getting guidance and it is a solid release for 2023. And so is Lineage. It's completely different to Guidance, but I truly love it. I actually fell in love with it before Guidance. That was my first love from this collection. Lineage is the most beautiful instancy mirror fragrance. Um, it's also a little bit like Marini Aquatic for some reason. It's just beautiful. Uh, it is such a standout one. And I feel like, you know, most people talk about Guidance and they do not really speak uh, about lineage and for me lineage is just as fantastic um, of course way less feminine more unisex however i feel like it's so easy to pull off if you love instancy you know frankincense mirror stuff then you will love this it's such a well done scent and they're both absolute beast modes so these are the two that i want to touch upon the next one is Alta from Parfums de Marty and I am getting it. I am getting it. Um, again, I went through decants and decants and I like it. I really like it. To me, it's so bizarre that they put this in masculine collection. To me, it's definitely a feminine fragrance, um, at least feminine leaning. I see why men might like it. Um, however, to me, it's way more feminine uh, than it is masculine. And this is such a beautiful modern vanilla. I know to some people, first of all, they find the Embroxen quite screechy. And second of all, they find it very underwhelming, not too, you know, interesting. But I do really like it. And if you are a fan of vanilla, then you need it and i do too uh, just remember that there is some 
you know, orange blossomy vibe to it. So if you're not a fan of that, then test it before you buy. I mean, test it before you buy either way because it's very expensive, but I really like Alta and I will be getting it even though the color of the bottle looks like poo. Um, next, we have Mattia Premier Vanilla Powder and what got me uh, to love it is of course the coconut powder mixed with Palo Santo and of course vanilla. I absolutely adore this scent. I know again some people don't find it interesting, some people don't really like Palo Santo in it uh, but I find that from what I've tested on me it actually sits very nicely. Uh, you know, with Mattia Premier, I kind of have a love-hate relationship because I did purchase quite a few of their fragrances, but I ended up uh, selling it because they were like not that wow. And you know, I had Santo Austral, I had Parisian Musk, and I feel like with that DNAs, I have better things at home already. So I got rid of these, but vanilla powder is something that's very very appealing to me and i really like it so what can i do i love it okay and i recommend it and i will get it soon i promise so that was from Mattia premiere and uh, the next couple uh, that i really want to touch upon is l'unfeline extrait extrait from um Atelier des Eaux. I had a chance to test it and bring samples home from Luxence in March and it wasn't even released back then yet so it was you know kind of sneaky for me to have it. I love L'Unfeline Extra way more than I love the original. Uh, for me L'Unfeline Extra is way more vanilla, it's way more dense and more resinous. Um, it's just better for me it's better it's uh, stronger it's sweeter it's denser and of course more vanilla as I said before so you can imagine that it will be it will be a love of mine so L'Unfeline Extra absolutely amazing and last but not least uh, that I do not have here and that is because of its price tag I'll be honest here uh, is from uh, Royal Crown and that is Nocturna I would uh, talk about it quite a lot uh, on this channel back in springtime and summertime and I absolutely love it. Like if only it wasn't so expensive it would be already mine but it's so expensive and it's so good. This is the most beautiful dark yet fresh fruity scent. It's incredibly strong and intoxicating, very feminine, nothing masculine running through it is just amazing. If, if you like uh, melony touches and a bit of rose and muskiness, oof, it, it's to die for, okay? It's to die for, but even though it's fresh, it's also very dark and seductive and sexy, so amazing. I feel like this is my favorite release from Royal Crown, apart from Sultan. So yeah, amazeballs, amazeballs. And uh, now all the bottles I have with me. So let's go through those pairings that i told you about uh, first we have gold fuel and banks and uh, i'll be as quick as i can in this video because we have a lot to go through uh, the first they released island lush the strongest most potent sandalwood like a not milky sandalwood it's a dry oody sandalwood you know that was ever created this is even stronger than saint Noir from Dior. However, if you do love saint Noir, you will love this as well. I love mixing it with something a little bit more girly uplifting, like, you know, even a straight up vanilla, but on its own, this is such a beast. I uh, wear it together with my boyfriend. We share this fragrance and it is just to die for, truly to die for, super sexy. Till this day, I remember the owner of the brand, Dimitri, wearing it at his launch party and all I could smell was him. Incredible scent. If you love sandalwood, but you know, like a very dark, mysterious sandalwood, then you need this. And the other one, they released in the summertime and that was my go-to summertime scent along with my partner. We wore it together as well. This is Ingenious Ginger and this is the best ginger fragrance that I've ever encountered. It's so beautiful. It is spicy, but it has some vanilla to it in the dry down. It dries down to the most beautiful citrus woody vanillic scent ever. It's so gorgeous. 
it lasts for a long time especially for a you know summery citrus scent it's so good um, so if you haven't tried it already then absolutely do because ingenious ginger will be with me for sure uh, for the next spring and summer to come i love this scent and my boyfriend loves it too as you can see we've done quite a damage to it um, to the point that i refuse to take it for our our summer holiday because i was afraid we would use it up life all right um then i want to quickly talk about this brand and i don't even have like a favorite favorite they're all to die for these fragrances have been released in 2022 as far as from gratica suggests however i only discovered this brand last year and it's been with me ever since i love it they are one of the highest quality um perfumes in my stash they're amazing and i'm talking about epc experimental perfume club they have their own in-house perfumers and the bottles look like this they're very sleek and very very sufficient uh, my couple of favorites are saint Louis, amazing another sandalwood but this is a sweet citrusy sandalwood Damn, it's good. Damn, it's good. So that is Saint Ennui. I love it. Then I have Sable sab, sab, Gris. And uh, this is a little bit like um, Gris Charnel, Extrait, but even stronger with a very spicy twist to it. Uh, with added cinnamon and tobacco so this one is more like winter appropriate of a scent comparing to Gris Chanel. Sable Gris or Sable Gris it's absolutely phenomenal love it you have to try it and last but not least it was actually my first one Tonka Extraordinaire now if you love sesame if you love amber if you love Tonka then this is for you one of the sexiest um, Tonka fragrances that was ever created absolutely phenomenal for epc i do have a discount code and actually some more fragrances from this brand are on their way to me um they're phenomenal phenomenal worth every single penny um they are very very eco-friendly uh, you only get cartridges to replace your juice after you're done so you're not repurchasing bottles after bottles uh, so yeah, I, I love them. I really really love them. So that was EPC Oh my gosh, what's next? It's it's oh so overwhelming uh, Okay, this one black cliff Discovered this brand in 2023. This is sexy eyes This kills me every time every single time this brand is from barbados and it's owned by a gorgeous marriage and sexy eyes is my favorite they have so many others that are amazing but sexy eyes is my fave it's like a woody fruity scent but it has something like fresh and sour to it yet sweet and a little bit like savory not savory it's it's so hard to explain especially for me that English is not my first language. You guys know the struggles, huh? Um, but it's just so good, so amazing, so beautiful. Uh, so yeah, Sexy Eyes, one of the sexiest fragrance ever that I discovered last year. All right, uh, next we have Ennui Nomad. And for Ennui Nomad, I couldn't decide. They are both so incredible. And I was lucky enough to um, smell them before they were released. So the first one is, of course, Sugar Leather. Oh, guys, Sugar Leather is 10 out of 10 fragrance. Quality is an understatement. Incredible. If you love leather, but like in the most smooth, beautiful, non-screechy way, if you love ambery scents, if you love sugary scents, this is definitely gourmand leaning, but not really. It's definitely sweet, okay? You get like sugary vanillic touches here you get some resinous and a little bit like woody accords and that leather here if you haven't fallen in love with leather 
because of baby cat from YSL, this is the reason you will. Absolutely amazing fragrance. Unisex, um, to me, it's sweet though, very, very sweet. So amazing for women, amazing. But this is like dark and sexy. And this one is my other true love that's almost gone. Love at first sight. This is Acacia, um, Visteria, Lilac. <sighs> Gorgeous. Some people will definitely get a coconut vibe from it and like tiara vibe. But oh my gosh, this smells like South Africa. It's inspired by South Africa and this smells like Pretoria in the springtime. If you know, you know. It's fresh, it's very tropical, very tropical, very sweet, so enveloping, very feminine. It is just, I cannot guys, I'm gonna shut up. Love at first sight, get it with a discount code, get these both, get these both. If you are ever to purchase something from Only Nomad, get these two, sugar leather and love at first sight. Wow, just wow. All right, uh, next I have something that I discovered uh, in 2023 and that is Paris Cherie from Astrophil and Stella, one of the best powdery, cacao-y, plush, marshmallow-y kind of vanilla scents ever created. It's incredible, it's truly incredible and so long-lasting. So Paris Cherie, this is truly the best creation from this brand. If you want to discover this brand, start with Paris Cherie. Uh, if you want super like chic, Parisian chic, uh, fragrances that are very feminine and sweet then Paris Cherie you have to try. Another amazing amazing uh, gourmand is from Lorenzo Pazzalia and this is Sweet Explosion Extrait. I don't love the plaques you guys know but the scents and this one. This one I love way more than Sugar Kisses. I love it more than Carbonara. This is the best. If you want sugary sweet then this is it at its best it's phenomenal phenomenal so so sugary sweet yet citrusy but not like cake not like lira it is just it's just gorgeous you know that citrus mixed with that sweet marshmallowy powderiness mm, mm, beautiful gorgeous you need this so so good okay next oh gosh guys this is like this killed me this killed me um i first received a 50 ml from the brand and i used it up up till october and it was gone and then I went to Sand Explore in New York and I was kind of lucky enough that uh, you know I, I really befriended the owners and they they gave me a new brand new bottle brand new bottle of my favorite scent and I'm talking about Breco and sorry I need to like stretch my back a little bit mm -mm -mm -mm. let me introduce to you if you haven't heard of it already which is weird if you watch this channel, but uh, Breco Noches de Nerola. This is not your typical Neroli scent, okay? This is not your typical sharp green Neroli Neroli, okay? This is not. This is the most beautiful, kind of gourmand leaning um, Neroli fragrance, but it's very smooth. So here you get tuberose, neroli and lychee and then you get salt and orange blossom and some white florals and peony and then in the dry down you get quite a bit of uh, sandalwood and ambroxan and musks but this is, I cannot, I cannot. This to me is another extremely sexy scent and don't even look at Fragrantica to what people compare it to. They compare it to all of me from Narciso. No, no. Narciso can kiss Breco's feet. Noches de Nerola is the best Neroli scent ever existed. 
the tuberose is green yet bubbly it's sweet the lychee is definitely here oh the best and it lasts forever so not just the Nerola. I would say this and uh, Sexy Eyes are kind of in the same realm. And they're both very, very sexy and perfect for spring, summer. Oh, I love these two. I love these two. I wish I had this Kankos, but I don't. You just have to get it. But truly, you will not regret it. It's amazing. All right. Um, next, I have one and favorite release from Room 1015, Sonic Flower. The best orris scent ever it's a masky orris scent it's irisy it's very modern it's sweet um it's fresh clean sophisticated beautiful truly truly beautiful something that's a little bit similar is their flagship fragrance 1015 however this one is so much better for me so 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 much better i love it so sonic flower i do have a discount code for them and i couldn't have it any other way uh when it comes to iris sense releases for 2023 this is absolutely the best one the best one amazing from niche okay what do I have next? Oh gosh, guys, this is so heavily hyped up. It was released in 2022, but I only discovered it uh, in 2023, just like most people. Bianco Latte from Giardini di Toscana, absolutely gorgeous. If you like caramelly vanillas, there's a lot of Kumar in here, then you will love it. It's uh, quite straightforward of a fragrance, you know, you, you have to love your vanillas. Uh, there's nothing incredible about it, um, but it's done beautifully and it's very, very potent and very long lasting. So, uh, Bianco Latte, is it worth such a massive hype? I don't think so because, you know, it's quite easy. However, I love it and, you know, I think it's worth having definitely, especially that the price is not bad. Okay, um, next, what do I have next? I have this, uh, one of the sexiest colognes ever. Mikalev Gin Tonic, beautiful, beautiful. So this is citrusy, fruity, aromatic, sweet fragrance with a heavy dose of sandalwood and vetiver and amber in the dry down. This one is beautiful. It has some nutmeg and uh, quite a bit of orange blossom and bigger heads and tonic water and lime and ginger and gin this is such a good one uh, for summer fragrances these two are incredible ingenious ginger is sweeter mm, you know you definitely do get that vanilla in the dry down and it's more like spicy whereas gin tonic is way more citrusy aromatic it does smell like gin and tonic it's incredible you also have some spicy mint here wow so refreshing uh these both are very very refreshing for summer i couldn't recommend these enough and for mikalev i do have a discount code so yeah just so you know if you're interested this is another citrusy scent that is to die for i am so glad i discovered this brand last year and this is the newest release it is soulinoage from the gate wow this is citrus woody um but there's so much more to it you have quite a bit of mint and yuzu you have rosemary you have lemon and bergamot you have pink pepper ginger rose and jasmine so you you see it, it's a citrus but it's a sweet one it's a floral leaning one and then you have beautiful gayak wood and cedar and amber I can tell you that this one is my third musketeer of citruses for last year along with Mikalev Gin Tonic and uh, Ingenious Ginger. You know, they do have similarities, definitely. However, I feel like it's not redundant to have them all. <laughs> I really don't. Um, this one is the most like, you know, tonic, extremely refreshing. Um, this will be more of your vanilla based citrus. So it's a little bit more enveloping in the dry down than the rest and Soulinoage is your minty 
sweet, sweet citrus mm, with beautiful florals running through it. So this is incredible. I love it so much and it's such a beast. I honestly think it lasts the best out of the three. They all are good on lasting, but this one is the best. This one you get 10 hours plus of longevity uh, and with these you get more like, you know, seven, eight. And this is super, super potent and it's beautiful. If you love aqua allegoria, mandarin basilic or limon verde, then you will love this one. It's so good. So, and way more potent than Guerlain. So I highly, highly recommend it. Whew. All right. Whew. What's next? Oh gosh, guys, there's so much more to go through. Oh, all right. Uh, let's go with Vive More because this collection that was launched this year, I was able to test it for way longer than it's available online. That's why I kind of can put it in the yearly's favorites, okay? I've been testing this fra these fragrances since May and these two are my absolute favorites from the new Gourmand collection, okay? These ones are just, you have to get them. So the first one is super hyped up. I think it will be, by the way, Caramel Pop from Viva More. This is everything that um, the House of Oud What About Pop should have been. This is such a sweet caramel popcorn salty scent, but not too salty. And the difference is that um, House of Oud has quite a bit of floral touch in the heart of the fragrance. And this one doesn't. This one is more of a, you know, nutty caramelly scent through and through. So if you are a fan of salted caramel popcorn, this is it in a bottle and it's a beast. So that's the first one. And the second one to me, it's one of the best dupes for Baby Cat from YSL and that is called Vanilla Vice. This one is way more feminine leaning than Baby Cat is. It is less spicy. Um, it has more sweetness to it, some orchid. It is just phenomenal, but the vibe is very much the same. So if you want a phenomenal, phenomenal alternative uh, to Baby Cat from YSL, then get Vanilla Vice. Amazing, amazing. I know you keep hearing amazing from me, but these fragrances blew my socks off. So that's that. And uh, now, of course, we have some Navitus and I do definitely need to uh, praise the girlies. Uh, we've got Ambrosia Imperiale from uh, Navitus, obviously, and that was created with Aisha. This one is the most delectable banana um, date uh, whipped cream caramelly scent. Oh, just gorgeous, super strong, super gourmand. And the other one that's definitely also a oriental gourmand is Baklava Royale from Navitus again. And that was done by Gabi. And this smells like a pistachio version of Baklava. It's so good, so, so good. And it only gets better with time. So yeah, Baklava Royale so so gorgeous if you love baklava if you love oriental middle eastern desserts then you need to try ambrosia imperial and baklava royale so gorgeous speaking of navitus it was a year of paulina takes navitus <laughs> i'm kidding but uh, i did release two fragrances the first one being kind intentions which is still available and it will be um this get so much love in person. It's so heavily complimented by people, no matter if I wear it or my boyfriend, or when I, you know, talk uh, with people, if they have it, they say that this is such a highly complimented scent in their collections, which only melts my heart and makes me want to cry. So Kind Intentions is your irisy, benzoin, vanillic, sandalwood, musky scent uh, with added quite a bit of mandarin orange which makes it very airy and citrusy and fresh and then you have some algae there uh, which make the fragrance a little bit like marine smelling which gives you this most gorgeous summer breeze and it's 
the most unique scent I have. Truly, this is the most unique scent I have in here. Period. But it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Created by Jérôme de Marino, Francis Courtejean's protégé. Uh, I see him taking over his other brands as well, like Elisab. So try Kind Intentions if you haven't already. It's incredible, incredible. If you love sweet, but very unique, then you will love it. And of course, my newest release, which is at the moment sold out, but it will be back in stock in beginning of Fab. You can expect that. Of course, this is Lost in a Dream and it's so dreamy. It's your milky, lactonic, croissant coffee fragrance that is just to die for. It's been created by Bertrand de Chauffeur and uh, it's my third baby and I couldn't be more proud. And guys, just look how beautiful they look together. Couldn't be more proud, couldn't be more proud. So yeah, this was another release that was a banger at the end of the year. Um, and I, every time I look at them, I'm like, I did it, I did it. All right, um, next, I only have, I think three fragrances left. So stage one from the three being Carner Barcelona Revolution. And this is your I don't want to say modern because uh, Baccarat Rouge has been released not that long ago, but this is your modern take on Baccarat Rouge DNA, okay? This is phenomenal. This is citrusy leather fragrance, but it has that sweet Baccarat-like touches and it performs so beautifully in the air. It's definitely a drifter. And by the way, uh, Kind Intentions is a massive drifter and uh, so is uh, Lost in a Dream. They definitely get you noticed because they sit very, very heavily in the air. And so is this one. Revolution is such a beautiful creation from Kana. I have so many Kana fragrances that I received this year. I think at least 10 bottles. Um, but this one has been released in 2023 and it's a masterpiece from the brand. I love it. I truly, truly love it. It's beautiful. It's so smooth, unisex, but sweet, beautiful. So that is from Kana and I have two Soradora fragrances. I was trying my best to only pick one, but it's impossible because they're equally as amazing. So the first one is Jani. This is your gourmand of all gourmands. This smells like apple pie being baked, okay? Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the hype is real and this deserves its hype, okay? So Genie is like your perfect, true, true, true gourmand. If you love apple, um, if you love doughy vanillas, this will be your baby. And uh, last but definitely not least, we've got Mallow. And Mallow killed me. Mallow is one of the most beautiful scents ever. This is the best violet that has been ever created. It has such a good gourmandy twist. It has a lot of nuttiness. It has some almondy touches. With that almond, it's to die for. It's just to die for. Such a beautiful, very chic fragrance. Uh, both of them have incredible lasting power. Both of them perform beautifully. And I don't see a person that would not like one or the other unless you hate gourmands, then yeah. Uh, but Genie and Malo, the best Soradora creations uh, along with Mandorl for me. Like free Mandorl, Genie and Malo, top free from Soradora. So there you have it. There you have it, darlings. This is it for the best of the best for 2023 releases. I don't even know what to tell you. If I could only choose one or two from this whole thing, what would I choose? Guys, I cannot, I cannot do it. They're all too good, too good. Mm, you know, I am still like very much obsessed with Nerola, um, but other than that, they're all like top shelf, top quality, 10 out of 10. Um, you can blind buy unless you are very wary about its DNA. Uh, but other than that, guys, 
the best fragrances ever. So that is it my darlings. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was long but it was worth it I guess. Thank you so much and see you in my next one. Bye!